I got it. Okay. I feel really close, and I don't know why, because I'm not actually that close. Oh. So. Um, hi guys. It's been a while, and I'm sorry about that. Um, been a bit busy, as usual. Um, I'm, my summer holidays are just finishing, so I'm going back to school. Um, I think I'm going to be doing another update video soon. <laughs> this video is, um, I'm not going to call it an advice video because I don't want you guys to take this and use it necessarily. But I think um, it could, it might help some of you and it could just make some of you think about just think <laughs> in your general life um i'm only 16 so i haven't had a lot of um what you could call life experience i guess um but i think there's some advice with advice ish <laughs> um which i could have learnt a bit sooner um I'm not saying that it would have necessarily improved my life, but I think it would have been a lot more helpful. Um, and maybe it would have made like my journey through the teenage, a child into teenage life a bit more fun, I guess. Um, and that's just basically um, not just the respect for yourself but um, seeing yourself um, as more basically because I know that a lot of people in today's society or ever um, think that if you look at yourself and you think, you know, I've achieved, like, something good, that you're going to be seen as boastful or big-headed, and, um, I think that the problem we have is that the people who take in that message are the people who feel I'm not saying this is for everyone but often people who feel the weakest who are always trying to improve themselves then they're going to take in this advice um, which is obviously not not a good thing <laughs> because yeah because of the obvious you're just going to be putting yourself down um, which is what I've done most of my life and it's bad it's really not good for your um, your happiness and your your respect for yourself as well um, and it just it prevents you from really enjoying a lot of things um, well, I wanted to link into this topic as well was um, putting yourself first because I think that people who don't see themselves as being important or good enough could, sorry, could end up um, deciding to make decisions for other people because they feel like they don't deserve the happiness and they they deserve to give more than to receive. Um, which, obviously, it's, it's a good thing to be generous and kind to people, but when you're doing it to an extent which means you don't get any happiness in life and you don't feel, you don't treat yourself when you feel you should, like, treat yourself as in, I don't know, <laughs> go to McDonald's 
no, but, um, yeah, so, I mean, it could apply to a lot of different situations, for example, I don't know, in, in school, if you're just working and working and working on your, whatever you're doing, um, you know, maybe sometimes you need to think, you know, maybe, maybe I've done enough work for a bit, I'm gonna like go out and not necessarily like have a huge party or whatever, if you don't think that that's what you want, just, you know, just let yourself get out of the house a bit, if you're working too much, like go to the spa or go, go see your friends, you know, um, obviously a lot of people, um, they say, you know, work now and then later you'll be rewarded. But if you just waste all your childhood working, I mean, where did, where did your childhood go? All your, all your childhood is for, then is just, is for your adulthood, which isn't what childhood is about. It's not about working for, for when you're older. You have to enjoy it. Um... It's also the same feeling guilty or selfish when it comes to your friends or just relationships in general. For example, um, last year um, I didn't have social anxiety as such because it wasn't as bad at all. It wasn't at all as bad. but. Um, there were times where I just really did not want to socialise at all. Like, at all. I was scared to, because I just didn't want to leave the house. Um, I was... I really didn't want to. And I sometimes forced myself to leave the house because I didn't want to upset my friends. And not only did that just make me automatically in my head if one of my friends called me I got really really nervous because I didn't want them to like ask me to go like just go to the park or whatever with them I just didn't want to go out and it can ruin friendships that it can ruin a lot of things um, and I think if they are your friends then you can tell them that you can tell them you know I haven't been feeling too good at the moment and I think what's best is for me to stay inside. Because sometimes it is. Sometimes you just need to stay away from people just for a little bit. Just ground yourself, you know. So, yeah, my battery is about to run out. But that's pretty much all I needed to say. Um, I could have gone into more detail, but I didn't want to make it too long because... I, I just wanted to give, like, most of the thinking to you. Bye.